Hey, what's going on? You watching HD VFX? So, welcome to another episode of Final Cut Pro X tutorials. So, in this FCVX tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use green screen footage. I mean, how to remove green screen in Final Cut Pro X on your very best software for the editing. So, let's get started. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using some uh, Synthesia footage. As you can see over here, let me just mute the audio so it won't be copyrighted as you know in the YouTube it will affect on the copyright issue. So I'll just remove the audio. Alright, so we're gonna use this footage for removing green skin effect. Alright, it's just a Synthesia cover as you can see. Some song name Alan Walker's Do It All For You from the different album i mean different world album all right so let's just drag it to the final cut pro x i've already done the setup so let's just uh, jump drag it to the final cut pro x here we go all right sometimes it's just lag due to if your mouse just slip all right it doesn't slip now there is not enough space what the all right let's just import it from here all right there we go there's the path there we go user all right let's just jump into the movies there it is all right just jump it to the footage path there it is raw footage there we go you can just select anything i mean you can just optimize media import all there we go just drag it to the timeline there is all right the setup is already done as i told you already early all right just so just go over to the effects bar from here and just you'll see keying bar and don't confuse with the effects i've got here so i just download it it these are these all are the third party plugins and effects and all so just ignore it and you'll find some option here like keying there we go and just dra drag and drop this gear like this as you can see the result is on your screen it will show you some result I just drag it to the uh, footage that's it now we need to mask the layer we don't need that extra part all right so let's just use the mask to uh, draw it so just jump it to the mask like this and drag this draw mask to the footage once again all right now just click at point like this and we can just drag the draw some part like this there we go and it will be done there we go all right some and let me just add some background footage so that i can judge uh, whether it's uh, some all right so let's just drag some footage i'll let me just pick one footage all right i'll just choose this one this one is pretty look all right let me just set desktop wallpaper all right there we go just drag it to the final cut pro x like this why is saying not enough space whatever i just have some space all right it doesn't matter i'll just import it from here like this media there it is and there we go and click over here and movies uh oh, sorry we just need to go to the picture there it is and elements all right let me just find that footage there we go it's coming now where's the that footage all right let me just go to the finder and it's db all right just type db there we go just import it right away and drag it to the timeline like this all right let me just scrub it like this and just drag it to the background 
and it's already done so now just time for the mask all right so we can just adjust this mask a little bit i mean the settings from here on the gear you can just refine this uh, some fade as you can see you can just uh, zoom it like this and press uh, h on your keyboard and you can drag it like this or you can use this one also and we can just remove fills all right where's that colors uh skill suspicious all right skill suppression there we go it's nice and we can just remove that part like this there we go and some saturation you can add light drop like this all right that will work perfect all right now just click fit and let's see and it work perfectly on your screen so that's all for this video i hope you like this tutorial and i'll see you on the next video till then don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit on the like button and click on the uh, notification bar i mean the notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials in the upcoming days all right so see ya